Hi Virgo, this is Charlotte speaking and welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much my Cyber Angel for coming back and supporting the channel. I do appreciate that more than you think and it's great fun to see you back and thank you for sharing and liking with family and friends. This is your reading for the 6th to the 12th of April and welcome to the new viewers and hopefully supporters of the channel. If you would like to become a cyber babe or a cyber angel then please join me on Monday, Wednesday and Friday night for the live sessions for free cards and super chats and super stickers. If you've got a specific question then you can use the super chat and super stickers. If you would like to have an extensive reading then please join uh, contact me the information is be below the um, video in the description box I forgot to put the charms out um, and um, uh, this is your reading for the 6th to the 12th now there is a little bit of news uh, because there's a lot of changes literally and figuratively in the world and we I hope you are all safe uh, safe and healthy and I do have sent out healing this morning but the change is that YouTube has changed to the new system and make sure that you are subscribed to your favorite channels and that you are getting notified uh, have a look for yourselves if you hit the bell when you subscribe and you hit the bell now you are getting three choices under the heading uh, the, under the bell you've got private all so click all then you'll be notified um, because I'll, I've had a lot of people saying I'm not getting notified well perhaps that has been the issue and that is the new function in YouTube if you would like an extensive reading then you can uh, look at uh, look in the description box but you can also look at the little white circle that will appear here with the eye then you'll be taken to the through to the website and there you can see the different uh, readings on offer okay let's start with the first card Monday the 6th you've got 12 so that is a 3 I'm not using this section this time so you've got the 12 that is a 3 creativity and you've got the birds you will be getting news you might be uh, going to or uh, get involved with meetings conferences gatherings um, but not in uh, in life physically uh, because of the lockdown perhaps you might be because you have to go to work um, and keep your distance uh, one and a half meters so perhaps I think you might be getting cyber conferences and you will be getting news through that because air is cyber uh, the uh, the robots or what you call it the rockets are in the sky I forgot what the name is sorry guys and girls but you might be having meetings through cyber like Skype messenger or zoom anything like that and you'll be talking and having conferences but be careful also the birds mean that somebody might have flown the coop or left the group or it could mean gossip well um, let me put it this way everything has got a negative side to it and a positive side just keep that in mind because somebody has left the company that could be it left the group or the coop so he they might have left the company so that leaves a space um, because uh, the four of cups usually means that um, there's only uh, uh, three standing and one is given with the hand from the divine there is an offer coming that could be an offer so perhaps in this conference somebody might give you some news and give you a job offer or giving you a possibility of a job offer okay so don't focus what is in front of you but focus on what is happening around you so there might be an, a surprise offer coming your way now you have the skull and I can never pick up these cards because they're very slippery and thin and I should have made them a little bit thicker 
hidden secrets can harm you. Like I said, be careful of gossip. Hidden secrets can harm you. Perhaps somebody has a secret of you and has been spreading false news or informa secret information and that could harm you. So be wise. You've got the owl on that. So the owl it stands for wisdom. The owl also sits on uh, in a tree and is perched and he keeps everything around him because he can turn his head 180 degrees. He looks around him before he jumps on his victim before he catches the mouse in my mm, yeah he can see a mice from a high distance so take a helicopter perspective it's also like the hanged man get a different perspective wow this has never happened before uh, the owl also means wisdom stands for wisdom so use your wisdom on how to tackle this okay stay away from gossip mongers don't believe any gossip that is one way of looking at it um, if you know who's spreading the gossip then uh, be wise either approach them gently and ask whether you could have a word with them under four eyes um, so that you can stop it hopefully and not uh, put petrol or oil on the fire okay where there is smoke there is fire that is what I'm hearing so be careful you must be careful not to make the fire bigger be aware of it sometimes it's better to stay silent okay Wednesday you have 35 so you're standing in your house of strength and money the answer is yes you've got the anchor is yes you're coming home to a safe haven you've put your anchor down you've put roots down where you are because you feel safe let's have a look sorry about that guys um, you've so you've got the anchor you're coming home to a safe haven or you are in a safe haven you feel now that you're safe and you're staying there you've put your anchor down you've got this different perspective because you've got the owl and you've got the hanged man and this means that there might be delays something is pending okay something is pending um, you're, this is the time to he's also spiritual um, so you might be taking time out to do meditation or contemplation and that is just the advice that the card gives and means so it's time for you to go inward and to see what you can do with a situation if somebody's gossiping or what you really want there are delays anyway because we're all down inside on lockdown so perhaps you can uh, use this time uh, wisely like you've got the hawk he's got a helicopter view like the uh, owl okay so that is really a top thing get a different perspective be aware be wise uh, see it from an other side that's also what I'm saying there might be a delay for four hours four days four weeks or four months now to it won't resonate with all of you but definitely with some of you um, perhaps you are thinking uh, shall I go back to this company will I get a promotion uh, is the is it really what I want because you you might be getting this offer in this conference and I think you will because not only because the card means yes but I think you're going to go inwards or go home and sit there quietly is this really what I want okay uh, there are hidden secrets that can harm you so be careful you must take time to think about it don't do things in haste because you have to repent in leisure
You've got the seahorse. This family matters to consider. Perhaps um, you've got the lock, um, the heart. It's got a heart on the lock. Perhaps you. Um, that means that you've closed off your heart to family issues or to love in the family. Perhaps that could be an issue. That is why perhaps you are getting a gossip. Mongers starting to gossip. Perhaps they don't know what the situation is at home. Uh, perhaps uh, you're keeping your heart locked, your mouth tied up, closed, and uh, you're thinking about it. You're taking time out to think, what can I do? How can I move on? How can we maintain this? If you're not married, then perhaps you want to be married. Will you be married? Yes, there could be an offer of marriage. Uh, but you can't be together because um, we are on lockdown and you might have heard from somebody yes but they've been married before and this that and the other don't believe everything you hear so watch out for gossip you see there is this everything has got two sides to it the negative side and the positive side now if you've got a couple and um, one and they're divorced and you've met somebody like that and you might consider getting married then you only get one side of the story you will never have the other side of the story and everybody else has a different perspective what can you believe what can you not believe you have to learn to read between the lines so is your heart locked up or is their heart locked up? I think your heart is locked because you might have been divorced yourself and you might be finding it very hard to love again and to um, open your heart to trust. I think that is the issue. Um, I think you really have to sit down and contemplate or meditate, listen to your feelings, your gut feelings, your intuition, your ideas that come into your mind. If there are any buts, if there is doubt, then speak to somebody like a social worker, a guidance counsellor, uh, a professional. Go to the GP, general practitioner, and talk to him about it. He knows you or she knows you. So. If you've got any anxieties, then go and talk to somebody. There are family matters at stake here. This could be children. This could be that the family might think it's n it's not a good idea. Don't listen to gossip. Like I said, listen to facts. There must be proof. There must be facts. If you have any doubts, then listen to your intuition. That is definitely uh, to be trusted. 96.9. Okay, give it 2.1% doubt. But where there is doubt, don't continue. Again, a spiritual card. You've got the moon. Now, yesterday we had a magic moon. Uh, because we had Pluto and Jupiter uh, coming in together to open up a porthole and the moon. I went out and I took a photo and it was like spickles of stardust. It was raining like stardust around the moon, dispersing energy. And it has, it has opened a porthole. That's why there will be big changes you've got 32 so you might be feeling out whack Virgo you might have a, a water in your chart remember there is also the moon sign and the rising sign so you might be Virgo Pisces because the moon uh, represents Pisces there are things that you don't know and you need to find out that is being illuminated. You are in the spotlight, Virgo. 
otherwise you wouldn't get this card your emotions might be heightened you might be high, highly sensitive you might be even psychic but listen to your intuition you are on the right road because the moon is giving you light on your path to the northern note okay you are on the right path but if you are in doubt don't do anything until you have the information you need and that you can f say yes I feel secure it could also mean that you feel safe here because you've got the anchor and you've locked your heart into this position and you're creating your own new unit family you've got the eight of pentacles your hard work is going to pay off you've got recognition okay or you might be starting a new study you've got recognition perhaps you've got recognition from a person that you fall in love with that's given you an offer of getting together marriage perhaps whatever a partnership of or a job but let's take it as a partnership in work or love they are recognizing you and your issues um, why you are doubtful and that you need more information so again we've got the anchor here wow I didn't recognize that until now okay the anchor means yes you're coming home to a safe haven and you're putting down your anger now you've got teardrops great personal sorrow now that could be that you are remembering the past okay you are remembering the past and you have got a lot of sorrow and you have to let go of the past in order to move forward so perhaps your heart is locked up and your solar plex this is also solar this is the cosmos this is also you see the dark skies so you need to let go and open this solar plex of yours that's the emotional chakra now the anchor you've got the anchor that is staying then you've got if you look at it then you've got the ank that's the cross right but the ank is also wards of evil and it means luck and then you've got the ring so I think there is going to be a bond because you've got the ring like on your hand when you get married hope love and faith those are the three things that the anchor has for me that charm in England means a lot to me there's always hope but you have to let the past go before you can move on then you have uh, and Leo had the woman as well um, and the woman means nurturing love passion sexuality and sensuality perhaps you might be meeting a new love if you are not hooked up and here you've got number 29 that's 11 so the angels are with you there is a doorway that you can step through a new beginning amazing the angels are with you if you are not meeting up with a, a lady then it could be uh, that it says listen to your feminine side take care of yourself love yourself you are beautiful nurture yourself let the past go there's more on offer around you you might feel that you've been stabbed in your back by a woman but that would be an end of a friendship so that's perhaps a sorrow but remember there's the positive side there's also a new beginning with a 10 a 10 becomes a 1 leave negativity behind 
don't listen to the stooges, the voices in your head or gossip mongers. Boom. Big thing in your reading Virgo. The angels are with you. You've got the angel feather and the angel number. Okay? You're getting back into balance, my darling. Don't worry. You've got the fine. Seek out information that will help you. So seek out information. What did I tell you? You need more information. Something is being illuminated. And there you are. The angels are giving you that message. And that is how magical angels can work in mysterious ways. Your wish is coming true because you've got the Nine of Cups an ending, a new beginning. You have reached your goal. And to top it up, and, and above all, you've got number seven. Luck is on your side, and you've got your star. Your wish or goal is coming true this week. But seek out the information that will help you. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Yes, learn from the past. Don't be sad. Don't give anybody opportunity to make you sad. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. see results and not failure you didn't fail so long you open your heart and you're more aware of things and you get the right perspective a different perspective you open up you can move on if you let the past go you haven't failed never we all go through things in life in order to learn as you look back on your life, know that you've failed at nothing. All you've done is produce certain results. You can send love to those who were hurt, who were hurt by you, and forgiveness to yourself to heal your inner agony. You can view it all as what you needed to experience in order to get to a higher place see the results it's not only uh, forgive yourself and uh, hang on a minute love those who were hurt by you it's not only that it can also be the other side you can send love and forgiveness to those that hurt at you. That's the other side. But